Hi, I'm Charlie Love and welcome to this Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. In this video, I'm going to talk about advanced mobile management. But before that, let's recap what you get with basic mobile device management in all Google Workspace editions. Basic mobile device management is on by default. So all devices that touch your Google Workspace data are logged and shown in your console. With basic MDM, you can set password requirements for managed mobile devices and set up managed apps on Android devices. For security, you can also wipe the managed workspace account from the device, block a device, set up mobile device activity alerts to notify you of a compromised device or suspicious device activity and review mobile devices in your admin console. With advanced mobile management in Google Workspace, admins get a range of additional features to manage endpoints effectively and reduce the risk to your organization's data. These include all the features of basic MDM. Let's go through the additional features. You can set up requirements for standard and strong passcode enforcement. Set up device approvals so devices need admin approval before they can access your data. Remote device wipe where the whole device is wiped rather than just the account. You can manage iOS apps to give you greater control of applications. Set up Android work profiles to manage settings on Android devices. Generate reports on managed apps and security details. Set up security policies for devices and other endpoints which enforce device encryption, approvals, passwords, and data access methods, such as endpoint verification. You get bulk enrollment of company-owned desktop and Android devices, and you can use Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager to enroll company-owned iOS devices. And you can allow users to assign device ownership to your organization, self-declaring the device is company-owned. And finally, advanced mobile management allows admins to distribute device certificates to control access to services, such as Wi-Fi networks, internal apps, and internal websites. So which devices are supported and with which features of advanced mobile management? Android, iOS, and iPadOS devices are supported, as well as Windows 10 devices. There are some caveats on this for some features which are supported by different versions, but generally most modern devices from the last three years should be fully supported. And if you want to manage iOS and iPadOS, you need an Apple push certificate set up for your domain. This certificate sets up trust between iOS devices and your domain and takes a few minutes to set up. For this, I recommend setting up a new account on Google Workspace so admins can access this when the certificate needs to be renewed. You should make a new Apple ID with this new account. And once you've created your certificate, remember, it must be renewed annually. If it's not renewed, you'll need to create a new one. To create the certificate, you first need to generate a certificate signing request, a CSR, from your domain. To do this, log in at, in your Google Admin Console at admingoogle.com. Go to Devices. On the left, click Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, iOS Settings. Click Apple Certificates, Set Up New Certificate. Under Certification Request, click Get CSR. Save the certificate signing request, the .csr file, to a location where you can access it later. To get the signing certificate from Apple, you will need to create an Apple ID using the Workspace account that you created earlier. You can create the Apple ID at appleid.apple.com slash account. From your admin console, click Apple Push Certificates Portal and sign in to the portal with your Apple ID and password. Click Create a Certificate and accept the terms of use. Click Choose File 
and select the certificate signing request file you saved earlier, the .csr file. To submit the request file, click Upload. Apple accepts the request and displays a confirmation page with your service type, vendor domain and expiration date for the certificate. Click Download and save the signed certificate .pem file. Download this file only once. Go back to your admin console tab or window. Uploading your certificate to Google Workspace takes just a few seconds. Under Enter Business Apple ID, enter the Apple ID you use to create the certificate. Your ID is automatically saved to remind you when you renew the certificate. Click Upload Certificate and select the certificate, the .pem file, you saved from the Apple confirmation page. Click Save and Continue. The system verifies and uploads the signed certificate. If you have problems, make sure the signed certificate you submitted is the one you saved in step one. If you find multiple signing requests in your system, delete them all and start again. Before enforcing policies for mobile device management, it's really important to communicate with your users. Enforcing password strength, endpoint verification and other requirements on your users will be confusing if they are unaware that these will happen. So always communicate clearly to users when enabling new settings that will have an impact on their experience. When you turn on advanced mobile management, users will be prompted to download and install a device policy app so you can manage their devices. iPhone and iPad users might also be prompted to install a configuration profile. To enable advanced mobile management in your Google Admin Console at admin.google.com, go to Devices. On the left, click Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, Universal Settings. Click General, Mobile Management. To apply the setting to everybody, leave the top organizational unit selected. In this demo, I'm going to turn on Advanced Management for a specific OU, so I select that OU. I can turn on Advanced Management for this OU for all types of devices, or I can have a more customized approach. I'm going to use the custom approach and enable advanced management for Android and iOS devices. To save my settings, I'll click Save. If you get a message that you need to enable Sync on mobile, click Go to Sync on mobile, check the boxes for the devices you want to allow to sync work data, and click Save. And that's it for this part one video on advanced mobile management. In the next video, I'll be talking about setting password requirements for mobile devices, setting up admin approvals for new devices, and how to add company-owned devices. Thanks for watching. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a Google Workspace admin video with Apps Events and Acer.